We are coming towards the end of June and the Manchester United takeover that was meant to be wrapped up by the end of March is not done. Three months. I'm absolutely using my head at this takeover, but do you know, do you know what's worse? I wake up this morning, PSG might be signing in Gonzalo Ramos. This Man United target might be going here. This Man United target might be going here. Man United looking at Pickford. And then I see that Tenor wants to do this, but the ball won't do this. And Tenor wants to do that, and the ball won't do that. And then reports that the Glazers might be staying, and this delays a smokescreen for the Glazers to stay, etc. And my head is completely gone. I am absolutely fed up with this club. And you know what? I joke about Arnold and Murt when I'm saying Luke Shaw's done more than Arnold and Murt in this transfer window. But honestly, the 100% of the blame comes down to the Glazers. 100%. Man United didn't lose out on Kim Min Jae because he preferred Bayern Munich. Man United lost out on Kim Min Jae, who Tenog desperately wanted had conversations with, and Kim Min Jae told Tenog he'd be open to joining Man United because they couldn't guarantee that they could pay a £42 million bargain release clause for Kim Min Jae because they did not want to release the funds to Eric Tenog. The Glazers, there's reports that come out saying they will do this and they will do that. The story is the Glazers do not want to release the funds to Eric Tenag. They basically are just sitting there watching all our targets get swooped up. And Man United's transfer window, like every other year, will begin five weeks after every cl every other club's transfer window when everyone good's been swooped up and everyone left you've got to overpay for. And then United, with their very little budget because of FFP restrictions, apparently will not get what Tenag wants. It will be a disappointing window. And if we don't finish in the top four next season, we're back to where we started. You know, we're not selling players. Well, you know, Ten Hag wanted 13 players gone. Why's not? Why's Maguire not been sold? Why's Dean Henderson not been sold? Well, Dean Henderson depends on on the entire situation. You know, where, where's McTominay? Where's Maguire? Where's Tellers? Where's Williams? You know, I know other clubs are selling their their, club, their players to Saudi Arabia, and it looks a little bit dodgy. But um, why aren't we selling players? Where? Why is Maguire still here? Why is Williams still here? Why is Bice still here? Why is, is Tellers still here? You know, no one wants to buy our players. And do you know what the worst thing was today? I'll tell you what I read today, and I want to get into the highest story today and the, and the teammates wanting him gone and all of that. But this is what I read today on by Chris Wheeler. Uh, it said this. Um, I can't find the story now. This. Man United need to sell players to finance more new signings, and they would prefer to secure David De Gea on a new deal rather than buy a replacement. Um, but Ten Hag has reservations. So basically, that news article... That is coming out is saying Ten Hag wants the hair gone. Ten Hag wants a new goalkeeper, but the club wants to get the hair on a new deal so they don't have to sign a new goalkeeper. This is our club. This is why we're not successful. This is why we've not won a Premier League trophy or a Champions League trophy in the last ten years. Because I know you don't want to spend money, but you don't even bet your manager. You don't even do what the manager wants to do. Arsenal and Liverpool have always been reluctant of spending money, but Arsenal are backing Arteta, realizing what he wants to do. Liverpool have somewhat backed Klopp and followed what he wanted to do. At the end of the day, back Ten Hag. You said to Ten Hag, okay, if you want a goalkeeper, you can get a 50 million striker and a 50 million goalkeeper instead of a 100 million striker. But then they're like, oh, actually, we might keep Dean Henderson, so we don't have to buy a new goalkeeper. Man United like, don't want to sign a new goalkeeper. They want to put De Gea on a long new deal. Ten Hag does not want De Gea on a long new deal. Ten Hag's not interested in playing De Gea. He's 15 million a year in wages. Ten Hag, he's not Ten Hag style goalkeeper. He's not good with his feet. Ten Hag said, look, I'm past De Gea. Move him on. Send him to Saudi Arabia. The board trying to offer him contracts. Ten Hag says, no, I'm not interested. I want a keeper. The board don't want to sign Ten Hag a keeper. The board, like, and I say the board, it's really the Glazers. They're an absolute disgrace. Ten Hag want a Kane. We're not getting Kane. Ten Hag want a Kim and Jay. We're not getting Kim and Jay. Ten Hag wants a keeper. If we end up with Pickford, I will absolutely lose my mind because we might as well stay with Dean Henderson if we're going to end up with Pickford. I prefer Dean Henderson to Pickford. You know, Ten Hag wants midfielders. He said, oh, I like Moises Caicedo. I like Lavia. The ball ain't interested. He actually asked the ball to go for Declan Rice and Declan Rice he really, really wants. The ball said he's too much and won't stop him going to Arsenal. So we've got Mason Mount. And Mason Mount's in our hands. And the reason we've got Mason Mount is because no one else is actually actively pursuing that. So we don't have to worry about it. But let's be honest, if Liverpool wanted Mason Mount and Mason Mount wanted Liverpool, Mason Mount would have been at Liverpool right now. We're lucky he rejected Liverpool and said he only wants to leave Chelsea for United. We're lucky about that. But you see Chelsea selling Kovacic for money, Chelsea selling Havertz for money, Chelsea selling, selling a lot of players for money, Man City offloading players for money. Why can't United sell players for money? 
this was meant to be Manchester United's big clear out. This was meant to be, we're going to get rid of this player, this player, this player. If we can't spend until we sell, why aren't we selling? Why are we sitting here doing nothing, acting like the, the transfer window doesn't start to mid-July again? Have we not learned our lesson? You, as soon as the season ends, you get working on transfers, so you're ready to bring in someone as soon as the transfer window opens. Like serious clubs. PSG have signed five players. They're now trying to sign Gonzalo Ramos, who would be perfect for Manchester United, a player. I dream about Bayern Munich, Kim Min Jae sorting out deals. You know, Chelsea are going to get Casado done once they sell players. Arsenal are going to get Vice and Havertz. Every team looks like they're going to do something. And Man United might be to do something for Rasmus Hoyland. And Man United might do something for Mason Mount. But they're still not signing. So you go, oh, Rasmus Hoyland, Mason Mount. That's going to elevate us. They're not, they're not players that go boom and they get right in that starting oven. They don't. I'm being honest with you. I like both of them. But they're not. They're not a... Uh, Diogo Costa, Anana, Gonzalo, Ramos, what is this Caicedo type signing? You know, Lavi is going to probably be going to Arsenal or Chelsea as well. And Ten Hag is fed up. Ten Hag is absolutely fuming with the United board people. He said, I want us to go for this player. The board, the board won't because the Glazers won't let the board. He wants us to go to right for Rice. They won't. He wants to get rid of De Gea. They're saying, oh, but we don't want to sign a new goalkeeper. It doesn't matter what you want to do. It doesn't matter. The Glazers might not even be here next year. We should be doing what Ten Hag wants to do in the transfer window. He's lost out on all his major targets. He's got us third place a trophy in his third season and you were paying by this takeover is going to be done in March but actually this takeover isn't done so we're not going to do anything in the transfer window so you can watch Casado, Rice um, everyone that you want to sign go to rivals you you can't get Harry Kane you can't get Kim Min-Jae we don't really want to give you a goalkeeper can you stick with the hair another year I mean Ten Hag if I was Ten Hag I'd be on the verge of walking Ten Hag must be absolutely livid he's had a fantastic third season and he absolutely gets hung out to dry by the board and this happens with every manager. We'll back you your first season. You get top four. You win a trophy. You're on track. I reckon, you know, we barely need to back him because we only want a top four side. We don't want a side that's going to win anything. And this is a top four side. Tenal's got a top four side. So we're not interested in backing him. And it, it drives me crazy because apparently we've got £120 million to spend right now, whether the takeover happens or not. So why aren't we spending it? Why aren't we doing anything? Why aren't we signing anyone? I mean, we need to sign someone at least in June. Um... But the worst thing today is, and I haven't even got into the De Gea report, but it's just the fact that there's reports that actually the Glazers might stay. The Glazers could be having second thoughts of the takeover. The time saying this 8-12 to 12 week deadline, this could be an indication that the Glazers might just stay all along. Because they're not doing any spending, they're not acting properly. You know, we're acting in the transfer window how we would have acted if we weren't getting a takeover. I'm sorry, we are. And I don't want to be dramatic and, and negative. But let's be honest, how we're acting in the takeover, how we're acting in the transfer window right now is how I expected Man United to act. You know, you know, let's ignore what's going on with Qatar and Sergio and act like that never happens. This is exactly what the Glazers would be doing if they were here next season in the transfer window right now. Not getting any business done, not releasing any funds, being difficult, this, that, this, that, this, that. Making up excuses so they'll link us to a new player every day to try and distract us, monitoring FC watching FC, but every player we get linked to will then be swooped up by another club in a couple of weeks. Everyone good is leaving the transfer market already because clubs are serious. There's not many good, good players around and they're all getting swooped up. So United will be in that situation where we'll be getting Ten Hag's fifth or sixth choice. We'll be getting Ten Hag's fifth or sixth choice. That's not good enough. He should get his first choice. He deserves his first choice. We're Man United. We're meant to be the biggest club in England, but we don't act. We act like we are the worst club in the Premier League for acting serious. We're the biggest club. But we are the worst. We don't back our manager. We don't buy who our manager wants to buy. We delay deals. We bring in fifth, six choices. We tell the manager we want to keep the goalkeeper, even though he doesn't. Do what the manager wants. But the most important thing is this takeover. Do I think the Glazers will stay? It makes no financial or business sense for the Glazers to stay at United and accept that offer from Sixth Street, Elliott Group, etc., etc. It makes no sense. But the longer and longer the takeover is delayed, and this is the feeling, and the times are kind of hinting at this, the longer and longer the takeover is delayed, more likely it is for the Glazers to say, I hate that, but there is starting to become a feeling that the Glazers might stay. Now, I'm not going to get too much into that story unless we get some more reports on that because it would just wind people up. But there's reports coming out that actually this, this delay could be part of the Glazers' plan to stay. They can't make a decision. They're not happy with Sir Jim. They're not happy with Qatar, etc, etc. Now, I don't think they'd have Qatar and Sir Jim and going, being, going this far deep for them to just stay. But then it's the Glazers. They are absolute parasites. They're absolute rats. They're capable of doing the absolute worst to stay at United. And if we do get more news on that, I will cover it. But as I've said, it makes no sense for them to stay. 
they've got to sell and the interesting thing is they've got to sell by the end of the financial year june 30th or they've got to pay 200 million we should find something out by june 30th fingers crossed we were meant to find something out by march 30th and we didn't that didn't happen and we get told we'll find something out this week we'll get told we find out something next week we don't we don't we don't because they, there's no deadline on this takeover they're in no hurry to sell they're in glazer land how can we ruin man united even more we've been here 17 years We've destroyed this club's core. We've made Man City treble winners. We are no longer the dominant side in the Premier League. We are a side that scraps for top four and is a mess and has average players and can't sell and can't buy and a mugs in the chance to win it. But we've got a fantastic manager and a fantastic opportunity to build on here. But we're going to do nothing. And we don't care about Tenor. We don't care about this transfer window. It's, well, you know, could I get an extra couple hundred thousand out of this takeover deal if, it, if I throw Tenor onto the bus? Yeah, should we stay? Should we go? Should we do this? Should we go that? I don't know what they're doing. They haven't made our mind up FC, monitoring FC, watching FC, and I'm fed up. But a story that came out today that like, I've, I've literally spent 10 minutes before I got into because I'm in such a mood and I've romantic so much, so I do apologise, is this. It was said, some figures that Man United want to move on from De Gea. Dressing room sources say United players are unsure if De Gea will stay. Sources also admit a resolution over his future is not as positive as it was at the start of the month. So they're basically saying people in the dressing room, players, Tanar, want to move on from De Gea. They don't think he's good enough. They don't think he's part of the plan. They're more than happy for him to go to Saudi Arabia and talk to them getting a new contract aren't looking good. It's not looking positive. It's looking like he will go. However, the board are very open to giving De Gea a new contract. They're not interested in what Tanar wants. The board are very interested in giving De Gea a new contract. So we've got to go and see what happens with that. But honestly, this is just a big rant because I'm absolutely fed up. Everyone is signing people. We're not signing anyone. And the names we're getting linked to are completely average names. Everyone's signing good players. Man United aren't signing anyone. And anyone we are linked to signing isn't particularly good. I mean, Hoyland and Mount are good, but they don't elevate us to that next level. Get me new owners. Get the Glazers out. Get me a director of football. Get me a few signings. Please. I'm, I'm honestly going mental with this takeover. These Glazers... They, we better get some positive news on Qatar today or I'm going to go crazy or sign someone or something. 